Hello, welcome to the Malcolm Merchant Vlogs, the Mr. Vlog Show. Okay guys, today I'm coming from my basement, and I'm standing, actually, I've decided to take a break from the regular boring uh, vlogs, so what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to give you guys a behind the scenes, before pre-look at what I'm going to be doing for my next uh, project. I'm going to be doing a, a sci-fi web series called, uh, I have no idea what it's called, is that pre. So, I'm st right now I'm staying in the room that I decided, I got so many rooms in my new house that, uh, I'm deciding to change this whole room into the the bridge of my ship. Now, <clears throat> what got me into this because uh, you know during this social distancing distancing thing we've been doing, um, we've been doing uh, you know for like the last like month and a half. I've been watching a lot of videos on YouTube on how to turn like household items into like it's called kit bashing. How to turn household items and things into like stuff you can use to make your own web series so um so i got this room that's like 10 by 15 it's a nice little room it's not too big it's my basement and i've been thinking about uh as you can see it's not huge you know it's a nice size i've been thinking about turning this room into the bridge of my ship for my web series which i don't know the name of it yet i even use this room just to feed my dog you know there's there's her bowl for food, which is empty, and there's her bowl for water. I've been giving her steaks. <laughs> I have like plenty of that in the uh, fridge, so I've been using that to uh, feed her. So she shouldn't be hungry because she eats steaks. So anyway, so I'll give you guys a look behind the scenes. Um, I've already figured out and measured out like how I want to do the walls. Now, I want to actually want to turn this into an actual bridge. I don't want to do like a couple of the websites. I've been doing a couple of the, uh, the YouTube pages I've been looking at. A lot of them, they just sit their actors in front of a green screen and then they just basically act like they're doing stuff. I'm not going to do that because it looks bad. <laughs> okay. It just looks, you know, it doesn't look nice. It doesn't look good. You know, it doesn't look interesting. I kind of fall asleep during the, uh, during the, the viewing and I'm like oh my god this is so boring so I decided to actually make physical a physical ship a physical you know a physical background and production value would be everything so and another thing let's keep going so another thing is that <clears throat> another thing is that the special effects I want to use I want to use I want to bring back some of the practical practical special effects that they use in Star Wars as you know Star Wars was all like model well the first Star Wars, the original Star Wars, not the the last, you know, like six episodes where everything was CGI and all that stuff like that. I didn't want to do that. What I wanted to do is I wanted to go ahead and do like the models in front of the camera. And here we go. This is the spaceship. And I spray painted it all white. And um this is where the these are where the windows will be. And you can see they're covered. They're covered with the uh the the, uh, not duct tape but uh, paint tape frog tape so that the windows are spray painted I just have to actually cut into it so that so that I can peel it out and it's already painted under there but I, I put I covered it up so I can have a nice full layer of white paint over it so that when I start uh, like when you start putting the shadows and stuff on it from all the lights whoops <laughs> we put all the, the lights and stuff on it <clears throat> for the and that's my green screen back there for space. This will be my space area back here. I got my green screen here. That's all you need. I'm gonna put it up here, and I'm gonna put it up here so that I can take like different angles from my ship. I've already researched that. That was one thing that uh, YouTube was like very consistent on about how uh, how to use a green screen with your models to make it look bigger than it actually is. So I think it looks pretty nice. Like. This, um, okay, I'm gonna tell you behind the scenes what this is made out of. Like those of you who are younger and you want to make your own spaceships, this is made out of. Uh, oh my gosh, I know, cause like you might look at it like, Ugh, really, that's what that is. But this is um, the bottom is made out of uh, uh, a cardboard paper like this, cardboard foam like this. This is cardboard, you see how thick it is, right there. With this, you get this for a dollar, you get like a, a two by, a two by 24 inch, two foot by, 
do like 25 inch um, curve board sheet like that and uh, so basically I took a bottle I took a regular like a cocktail juice bottle I think I have the other half this is I cut it in half this is the half the, the main body the main body of it is like a half and then I took uh, one of these model foam model playing kits and I took the, the big wing and I put the work cost there and I took I guess my phone giving me updates about friend requests I don't even care about this top here is like a potato chip top <laughs> and this right here these little engine sides is actually this which is a conditioner revitalization bubble bottle I saw it and I thought it looked pretty interesting as you can see that's what that is and I cut it right there and I split it down the sides and put one side here and one in there and right here is the end of a Nerf uh, football and these back ends right here is basically uh, the wings for this here you know the wingspan that goes around I just cut it in half, put one half here and glue it to this and glue it here and after I figured out what I want, essentially I want my um, my design to be, I, I laid it down on top of the uh, this cardboard right here and I just basically uh, traced out what I want my ship to look like and then once I glued it onto there I flipped it over and I took to give it that shiny look as you can see some of the spray paint is still on there, I'm kind of sloppy um, I took the, um, I took, what do you call it, um, black nail polish and just painted it and glued the wings on. And just talk about this right here. This right here would be a space station. It looks pretty stupid right now because it's not painted. But this is basically uh, the space station. It's going to look huge. It's going to look huge and, um... On camera, where I do it, like, cause I'm, I'm having done with it, cause I'm actually gonna spray it black. I wanna put like little uh, square, little square spots on it. You fucking wanna paint it darker gray, and when I peel off the uh, the little squares, it'll look a little bit brighter, so it'll look like windows. So then when I put it in space, I'll put it in the green screen background, it'll look like space, and it look like those windows are brighter than everything else. So look like little windows and they'll give you a little bit more perspective of it being larger than what it is. So I'm really excited about that. That'll be a lot of fun. We've been talking for eight minutes. Wow. Okay. And so this is my, my, my workstation for that stuff. As you can see, it's not huge, but, hmm. and I bought a glue gun and I bought a Dremel and I really like those empty dog food uh, bag anyway so back now back into the pre bridge as you go through here hooray you're in my office now <laughs> my office which I'm pretty going pretty much going to use this uh, space again I have stuff I'm gonna um, I'm gonna have plaster that back not plaster but put something up on that back to make it look a little better I've already figured out in my, my head what I want the walls look like so again I'm gonna stay in my budget I've measured it out with the uh, those two by twenty five inch um, um, black boards. I figured out how many of those I need to cover the whole wall in here. So that I'm not worried about it looking cheesy. I'm worried about getting it done because I know once I get it done and once I get in the in once I start videotaping it and making it look good, then it's all gonna come together. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be nice. And, uh, oh, let me show you this. Let's show you this. Like I said, I'm using everything I can that I can find in order to, you know, get the production started on this, on this show. Once I get the bridge done, I think everything will fall into place. I got these boxes. I measured these boxes. These are nice. When you see them on the floor, they're pretty high, which is good. And I got two of them. I got one. It's about, it's about almost the same size as those, uh, black cardboard so it's about two feet this way so it's about two feet off the ground and it's like one foot across it don't really matter how far the cross is but what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take these I'm going to 
sit them side by side like that, but like that. And I'm gonna take those boards and I'm gonna put them across. And I'm gonna turn these into the bridge, and I'm gonna set them like over here, like the bridge. The bridge would be right here. The uh, helm and the uh, and the weapons and shield station will be right there and right next to her and. Right, this big wall right here will be well where the view screen will be. I'll be the captain, of course, on screen. <laughs> uh, I probably won't start primary filming until I get the bridge done, and also uniforms. Um, I need right now. I need about three uniforms. I've casted about maybe four rows so far, so. I wanna, so this is gonna be a web series. I think I wanna hold off on casting too many people. <clears throat> um, the story so much I don't really have, but the thing is, is that um, I haven't started writing down any any solid idea. So it's all still kind of up in the air. But I do have a, a good vision as to do what I wanted to. It's gonna be fun. So. <laughs> I'm going to give you guys an update every week as to how far I've gone. And hopefully next week when I post, I will have more of the of the bridge done. And I'll show you, show you guys that. So then once I actually start filming, you guys will be like, oh, I remember when he started telling me about this. And oh, man, that's the room. I can't believe it. it looks like good. You know, because camera tricks, you know, you take angles and stuff like that. You can't see how small the room really is. You know, all you'll do is you'll see me in my captain's chair. Anyway, uh, guys, I'll talk to you later. I'm out of here. I'm not going to give you a date because I'm not going to post today. I'm going to post later. Later. Peace out.